Yo, what up with the guys? It's Landon on a PC. I hope you're all doing well today. Thank you so much for stopping by and tuning into the new video. So what I actually want to show you guys today is how to update the firmware on the Asus ROG Swift PG27 UCDM. So you guys know I've been ha I've had this monitor now for a few months and I absolutely love this monitor, but I don't want to take up all of your time. Let's jump straight into it, how to update the firmware. And if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. As always, I really appreciate all of you. So we actually got the system over here. We got the 5090 and the 14900K. That's the liquid cooled MSI 5090, by the way. Uh, really has been an amazing card. But let's show you guys how to actually update the firmware. Oh, also we got the new Astros. Guys, these are awesome, the A50Xs. I tell you guys what, if you're looking for an awesome headset, this is absolutely amazing. But let's jump into it. So <laughs> enough of me uh, going over my system. So we got the USB B side. Now this cable actually comes with your monitor and we have, and this side's actually going into your motherboard. So make sure you got the A side going into your motherboard and then you want the B side going into your monitor. Let's see how hard this is actually gonna be to get this into the monitor that actually wasn't that hard. All right, now the next step is to come onto your monitor, hit the toggle switch on the back, and let's actually check what firmware the monitor has right now. Go ahead and go into system setup, all the way down to the bottom, go to information, and you will see firmware version MCM103. Now, let's go ahead, let's open up our browser here, and let's go to Asus PG27 UCDM drivers. So it's about time they do release another driver. However, I've already looked at the patch notes and they did not increase the firmware for HDR. Um, they did not add that in. I wish they would have, but that's all right. It might come later down the road. And you're just gonna hit, uh, I go to this one right here, the second one, and you're gonna come to this screen and you're gonna go to, and it's gonna take you to the monitor. Make sure the monitor right up here is PG27 UCDM. Now you're on drivers and tools right now. You're gonna wanna go to BIOS and firmware. And as you guys can see, we have MCM104, which was just released on 708, so a few days ago. And then you guys can go through the patch notes right here. So they actually fixed quite a bit of things. Asus actually is pretty good about coming out with firmware updates. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and hit download. However, Asus, if you're listening, Please update the firmware for brightness in HDR mode, please. HDR console mode. Um, it's not It's not like it needs it. it I'm, I'm being picky about it. Honestly, the HDR is actually really good on this monitor. This is by far the best monitor ever. Anyways, guys, we just went ahead and downloaded the new firmware. Go ahead, open it up. And what you're actually gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to one key update. So not the not the USB flash drive, You're not you're not doing that. One key update, and you're gonna run Asus firmware, one key update, double click that and extract all. Make sure you know where you're saving this. Let's just go ahead and put it into the downloads. Not a big deal. Anyways, let's go back to the download. Here it is guys, it is extracted. Let's run it one more time. And as you guys can see and, <sighs> It's because I didn't run it in administrator. <laughs> wow, that's kind of ridiculous. But anyways, here we go, guys. <laughs> Just right click and run that as administrator. If for some reason, I don't know why it had to be run as administrator when I am an admin, but that's fine. Now, as you guys can see, it says right here, current version, MCM103. That's what we have right now. And we're going to MCM104. Go ahead and click update. And here it goes. Now, if for some reason this fails or it does not work, go ahead and just remove the cables, maybe uh, re-download the file again, you know, extract it again, even restart your machine. Try all of those steps and then go back. And once this is actually done updating, go back and check it in this, oh, the toggle switch won't open right now while it's updating, that's fine. Um, but once this is done, 
you can go back into the systems into the system information in the monitor and just confirm that it actually updated to the new version so we'll let this download <sighs> yeah make sure you do not remove the cable doing this i think feel like it'd be pretty hard for you to <laughs> remove the cable but yeah guys this is uh this is pretty much it we'll just let this uh we'll let this update and then we will show you what to do afterwards just to confirm that it updated oh okay it's gonna shut your monitor down and then restart it after the update <clears throat> let's wait for this to update and it says updating it's almost done all right guys up to date let's go ahead and close let's go back let's confirm in system settings information yep and there you guys can see mcm 104 all right guys i hope that did not take up all of your time drop a comment let me know what you think i hope this video helps you out and we'll see you in the next one peace out guys